Hello people, I'm still here in Chile. As you see, I'm speaking from Cajon del Maipo, which is beautiful nature ne near the Andes. Uh, I'm near the mountains here. And I've uh, been thinking a lot about uh, in this vacation I'm taking here. Been thinking and, and seeing what's happening in Brazil regarding the Amazon. I'm here in a natural space now, and the Amazon is always on my mind. Uh, what's happening in the Amazon is not new, of course, and of course we clearly knew from the start when this government, before this government was elected, we knew from the president's speeches that uh, he was always saying he would be for development in the Amazon, a kind of development which means taking the forest away. Uh, because, you know, his discourse is that the environment and development cannot go together. You have to pick one. So he picks development against the environment. This is an old, a very antique uh, way of thinking, which is, uh, should be undone by now. But anyway, still some people think this way. And clearly, we, we know now the, the, some people that on August 10th, we have news, I'm putting the link uh, under the video here. On August 10th, uh, we knew there was a plan by many uh, loggers, many landowners to burn the forest of Pará State. And this was known, this was told to the government, to the Ministry of Justice. This went up to the federal police and still they did not take action. Why did they not take action? Well, they don't care. They don't care about the Amazon. Their, their project, you know, Bolsonaro's project, he's been saying that for a long time, is to bring mining industries of the United States of America to mine the Amazon, including the indigenous lands um, are going to be mined. This is his idea. That's why he wants his son to go as an to be an ambassador in the U.S. is to bring these mining companies to exploit the Amazon. Um, he doesn't care if the forests are cut down. Um, he thinks that you know there's too much forests. Uh, we should just have you know some cattle there, uh, agribusiness, soy plantations. This is his plan for the Amazon. Um, but, of course, when the news of, of the forest uh, fires came up, the first thing he said was, and we, we have video of that, he said, the indigenous peoples are putting fires to the land. And when he was questioned uh, by, by journalists, he uh, where well, how do you know? What's the evidence of that? Uh, he doesn't have any evidence, of course, because he, he's uh, against science. Uh, any science that's showing forest devastation, he, he just, you know, he says it's not true. Uh, he fires the scientists. So that's that's what's been going on. And when he was questioned, he said, no, 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 it's not the indigenous people, it's NGOs. NGOs are behind all of that. And, you know, I've worked with many Brazilian environmental NGOs and international environmental NGOs. Most of them are totally against destruction of the Amazon. They're working for the preservation of the Amazon. Of course, there are a minority that are facade uh, organizations that have other, uh, other profitable uh, interests, but most people, most organizations, and most indigenous people in the Amazon, most traditional people in the Amazon, are working for the preservation of the Amazon. Why is he saying that? He's saying because he wants to confuse people. He wants to put exactly those people that are for the Amazon, the indigenous people, the traditional peoples, uh, fishermen, etc., and non-governmental organizations. They want everybody to see these uh, organizations and communities as their as our enemies when in fact they are the people that are 
for preservation, for conservation. So he wants to confuse, he knows what he's doing. He wants to confuse everybody. He's not, he's not uh, uh, just, you know, ignorant. He's evil-minded. He's deliberately lying to people to confuse people and to put people thinking that they should be enemies of indigenous people, enemies of NGO, when in fact, if you are for the conservation and preservation of the forests, these are your friends, you know? Most of indigenous people, most of our NGOs in working in the Amazon are for conservation and preservation. So, and also there is a discourse that uh, development should mean the destruction of the forest. This is an old, overdone dis discourse. And we have loads of experiences now, nowadays in the Amazon where indigenous people and traditional peoples and organizations are at the front of conservation, are at the front of local development, are at the front of initiatives that aim and have been conserving the Amazon. Those are the initiatives that we should look to uh, foster, we should look to support. There, There is development that is locally done, that is sustainable, and that is done with local people at the front. Those are the people that are conserving, those are the people that should be at the front of any strategy of conservation and preservation. But what are the people behind Bolsonaro? Who is he? protecting. He's protecting the big landowners, the mining companies, the logging companies. He's for them. You know, he's he's with these people. He's he's protecting these interests, you know, for a long time. He he's he, he he's pretty, pretty clear about it. Uh, it's not, you know, he just lies about who our enemy should be uh, as if they don't preserve their forest. So he's lying about that. But you know, these people that don't preserve the forest, the land, land, big landowners, mining companies, agribusiness, these guys, he protects them. He's, he's just a puppet at the service of these people and these interests and these companies. So let's be, be clear about who our enemies are. Let's be clear. If you are for the Amazon, your enemies are not indigenous people. Your enemies are not. Uh, organize it, local NGOs, you know? Let's be clear about who we are for and who we are against. And let's uh, work so that uh, this government is put to the responsibility of not fostering again all, all of these uh, incursions into the forest. Uh, this government has, you know, uh, cut not only science but funding for the, the fiscalization of logging, fiscalization of forest devastation. So this government is the most anti-nature we have seen maybe in all of the history of Brazil maybe, you know, as a federal government. We have not seen some such government like this before. Of course, our last governments have not been champions of nature but as this government is doing there's nothing like it uh, in the past of brazil so we are really really in need of international cooperation not so that international companies come to exploit the amazon but to protect it and to foster local development and to support indigenous and local organizations in keeping the forest up okay so that's what i wanted to talk about today even though i'm on vacation and next week i'll come back with more philosophically scripted videos and sometimes i'm i'm going to come back to these more spontaneous videos as, as i did today because i think you can hear me as i'm thinking and that's uh, a different way of, of communicating as well. So, see you next time.